Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to do the statistics and probability problem. It says consider the following probability mass function or PMF of a discrete random variable x. We're given the probability distribution as a table and we're asked to find the mean, median, and mode of the random variable x. So for this problem, in no particular order, we're going to find the mean, median, and mode using the probability distribution. Since we're dealing with a discrete random variable, the values of x take on discrete values, and the probability distribution is usually presented as a PMF as shown, which is a table that has all the possible probabilities for each possible value of x. So starting with the one that is the easiest for me to find, I'm first going to find the mode of x. So the mode is just defined as the value of x that has the highest probability. And this one's the easiest to find because I can just look at the table and find the value that has the highest probability without having to calculate anything additional. So the probabilities are 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.25, 0 0.1, and 0 0.05. So the mode of the random variable x is going to be x is equal to 2 because that's the value that is most probable. It has the probability 0.3, which is the highest in the table. So that's going to be our solution for the mode of x. Next I'm going to find the mean, which is also known as the expected value. So the expected value of x is basically just the value of x times the probability summed for each possible value of x. So for discrete random variables, that's going to be the sum of x times the probability that x takes on the value x for all possible values of x. For this PMF, we're going to calculate the expected value as follows, it's going to be the value can take on x is equal to 0 times the probability would be 0 0.1 plus the next value would be 1 times its probability which is 0 0.2 plus 2 times 0 0.3 plus 3 times 0 0.25 plus 4 times 0 0.1 plus 5 times 0 0.05 and when I do that calculation, I'm going to get that the expected value is equal to 2.2. So this is the mean of the random variable x, or the expected value. And finally, we're going to calculate the median. Conceptually, for the median, that's going to be the value on the probability distribution where at a certain value x, if x is the median, 50% of the distribution will be above that value and 50% of the distribution will be below that value. So to find that median point where 50% of the distribution is above that point at that value, we're going to have to calculate the cumulative distribution function or the CDF. The CDF is equal to the probability that x is less than or equal to the value x. So the PMF gives us the value, the probability that x is equal to a certain value. To find the cumulative probability, we're going to sum every value that is less than or equal to that value of x. So we're going to go from the smallest value of x to the largest. So for 0, that can only take on the value x is less than or equal to 0, which could only be 0. So the CDF at that point is going to be 0 0.1. For 1, the CDF is going to be, the possible values would be 1 or 0. So we're going to sum the probability 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1. So that's going to give us 0 0.3. And at every next point, we're just going to calculate the probability plus the prior probability. So for x is equal to 2, that would be 0 0.3 plus the prior 0 0.3 to give us 0 0.6. So that would be 0 0.6. For 3, that's going to be 0 0.25 plus 0 0.6. So that's going to give us 0 0.85. So the probability that x is less than or equal to 3 would be the probability that x is equal to 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0. For x is less than or equal to 4, the probability is going to be 0 0.95. And for the value 5, that's going to be equal to 1. And just as a sanity check, you always know that you calculated your CDF correctly if the last value is equal to 1 because the largest possible value of x, the CDF of that will always be the entire probability distribution. So the entire probability distribution will always be equal to one. And for the median, using the CDF, that is going to be defined as the first value of x where the CDF is greater than or equal to 0 0.5 or 50%. So it's the first value of x where the probability that x is less than or equal to some value x is greater than or equal to 0 0.5. So if we look at our CDF table, we see that 
it can't be zero because the CDF is less than 0 0.5. So 0 0.1 is less than 0 0.5, 0 0.3 is less than 0 0.5. And our median is going to be two because that is the first value where the CDF is greater than or equal to 0 0.5 because the CDF is 0 0.6 here. So our median is going to be equal to, x is equal to two. So we have that the mode is equal to two, the median is equal to two, and the expected value is equal to 2.2. And we are done with this problem.